All right, here we go. It's number six. Let's talk about Pavlova. If you watch the TV show Bluey, uh, have you seen this? This is no, a, it's a I delightful skip. program. Yeah, you're, you've been raving about it. Even though you don't niece, have kids, yeah, you like no, to watch it. I've got a niece it. who watches it. It's very cute. Uh, <laughs> you may have heard of it. They talk about it a lot, and they like to eat it. That's because it's an important part of the national cuisine of Australia and New Zealand. Pavlova is a meringue-based dessert. It's usually made in cake form with a crisp crust on the outside and a light, soft, even fluffy inside. Mm. It's often topped with fruit and whipped cream. In case you're wondering about the name, uh, turns out it's named after famed Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova. The dessert was reportedly created in her honor and served during her tour of Australia and New Zealand in the 1920s. And due to the popularity of the TV show Bluey, it is getting more popular here in the States. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I've seen them make this on the Great British Baking Show. It's not easy. No. They crack very easily. It's, mm. it's, it's It could be a whole disaster yeah. for the big final showstopper. Yeah. I mean, if it cracks, it's you're done. You're done. Yeah. You know? Wow, the suspense. Yeah, you are a party. Uh, <laughs> and number five, ever wonder why your eyes water when it gets cold outside? I well, have. experts say it's completely normal. When you step outside, the cold air strips the eyes of moisture, which means the tear ducts struggle to produce enough tears. Those tears keep the eyes wet and smooth and help promote clear vision. They also form a protective layer over the eye. Ophthalmologists suggest putting a warm compress over your eyes for a few minutes at a time and can alleviate the dry eye. And now you know. Mm. You know. Thanks, Slayer. Yep. Good helpful information. Number four, you want to give your kids a bit of a history lesson this summer? Try the seven-day vacation in the UK that lets you follow in the footsteps of Winston Churchill. Ooh, Isn't that exciting? Yeah. You'll visit the former Prime Minister's birthplace and his final resting place. And along the way, you'll visit his alma mater, founded in 1572. Walk through the cabinet war rooms, including where Winston Churchill had secure phone chats with President Roosevelt during World War II. Also, some of his favorite bars and restaurants as well. So fun yeah. for the whole family. Yeah. yeah. All right, number three, you like playing board games, but you don't like all the space they take up? Here's something for you. A company called Home Lives has a collection of 15 vintage board games designed to fit on a bookshelf. Huh. They've got Monopoly, Clue, Scrabble for the big kids, Shoots and Ladders for the little ones, Candyland. They've also got the classic Mystery Date. Ooh, Ooh I loved that uh... one. Uh, each case is under 11 inches tall and less than 8.5 inches wide, so you can easily store them all on a bookshelf. And look at it. It looks like books rather than... That's kind of cool. You get all 15 games for just $49.95. Pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. You can check out homelives.com for more information. Look at that. Yeah. Coming in at number two, it's the middle of the winter. Things can get a little bit lonely. So try the five for five connection challenge. U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy says it helps make stronger connections with people. So here's how it works. For one minute every day, think about someone you're grateful for. Once you do that, message that person and tell them. It's that simple. You can tell them, call them, text them, email them, it doesn't matter. The point is say, hey, I'm grateful for you. Do this every day for five days. Choose a different person every day, mm. but it's designed to bring mm. you closer to people, maybe someone you may have lost touch with in you your know. life. Try it out. Let us know how it works. Or you could do it in person. Robin, go ahead. Give it a shot with Larry. And then tomorrow you, you can do it for me. You seen me in three days. I am, I am grateful yeah. <laughs> that I didn't see you for three days, <laughs> and now you're back, and it's great to have you yeah. here. But you know what? You do. You start sending messages like that when you're oh used boy. to being a little snarky. People, People think something's wrong with you. <laughs> right. like, is it, are they dying? Right. Yeah. You're like, why? Why are you doing this? It would yeah. be like, did someone hack your phone? Yeah. So yeah, you can't just do that out of the blue. Yeah. Uh. All right. Uh, number one, because it's Monday, let's enjoy a sloth swimming. <laughs> they are the best. Look at they this. They are cute. Oh, man. They're at, ironically, they're faster underwater. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at that. They don't move that fast yeah, on land. That's true. Yeah. Sweet, I'm just sweet. Well, I think I could, I could read a little information while we watch this sure. wonderful video. Sloths are known to be slow movers, but yes, as Robin oh. pointed out, you can see they move much faster. When they are in the water, uh, we have no explanation for that because probably a threat we only have so many riders. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. right. Slow sloth swimmers don't last very long. Yeah.
Wow, look at, that. look at that. That's not slow motion right there. Yeah. <laughs> look at them. They're just, if you can domesticate just, one. They're just happy with their lives. Yeah. No, always, you're projecting there, you don't yeah. know. Oh, that scene in uh, the DMV in Zootopia, that kills me every time. I don't it's even know what stuff. that is. The, Come on, you haven't seen Zoo that? Zootopia? Zootopia? Yeah, that's a cartoon. Is that it? the wrong movie? What happened? Yeah. Oh. Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get Look at your yeah. information. Yeah. See, now you're going to have to cue that up, right. Larry, so people know. Except oh, it takes great. five times longer than how she just... Look, <laughs> I, know, I know why Brett knows it. Why do you know it by heart? Because I had kids. Go kids, kids at the time. I don't where, where, where and was we like I? to, uh, you know. He watch. was watching the films with the kid. You were in the other room <laughs> doing yeah. something else. Smoking <laughs> your cigarettes. Great movie. Yeah. All right, well, cue that up. Thanks, guys.